All right, and welcome back for some more easy blues harmonica. And this week I had a question on one of my recent videos from BRJ, basically saying, hey, can you teach us how to play what you're playing here? And I'll show you what they linked. So yes, I can teach you how to play that. I do a lot of videos on this sort of thing and um, it's the vamping and combining vamps with chords or I often call it triangulation. This is what I like to sort of play when I'm by myself. I've just got my harp and I just want to relax, sort of chill out and enjoy myself. So that is on a review for an A Marine Band harmonica. So let's grab our C harmonicas. We're going to play this in G and I'll play it again for you. Like a lot of things on harmonica, it sounds a lot more difficult than it actually is. And I'll show you the little pieces and components that go into making this. Now, the very first thing is the vamp, because that establishes the rhythm. It sort of sets the song up. That's the... love that stuff you can just play that forever now what that actually is um, I learnt this from a uh, Jerry Portnoy CD masterclass um, really really good instructional material it was like three CDs of Jerry like actually speaking a lesson um, this is why I don't often <laughs> refer to like a lot of notes and tabs and those sort of things Jerry um, actually got to talk to him about this um, uh, CD masterclass a few decades later and he said his students were coming to him with all the sort of like material that was available at the moment and he would have wanted to put out something that like filled in the gaps like the stuff that they didn't have so yeah what it is it's a train rhythm and to break it down and make it easy it's based on the syllables hudda and hutta so hudda hutta hudda hutta 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 now the hudda and the hutta they just sound a little bit different. So if I'm going breathe in, hada, hada breathe out, hada. And if I just do it on hold too, just by itself, it's like. So I go hold two, breathe in, hold two, breathe out. And then I roll down to hold one, breathe in, go back to hold two, breathe out. And then I repeat, so I'm back on hold two, breathing in. So hada, 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 hada. And I swing it like how I'm speaking. So it's not very robotic like. No, I swing it. After that, I just get it sloppier. So instead of just being hole two, it's usually holes one, two, and three. Holes one, two, and three, breathing out. And then I move the harp down, so I'm around hole one. I actually have my lips sort of over the left-hand side of the harmonica, so I'm on like the flat wooden part of the comb, or plastic on this rocket here, so. So that's our train rhythm, that's our vamp, that's what we get going. <clears throat> Now, once we've got that established, we need to put some space into it so that we can, you know, play some other things. And we want a repetitive rhythm, so we do stuff like this, slow, like. And I can speak. Play some notes here. So in my head, I'm still going through the hada, 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 so I've still got that rhythm going, so one. Play something, possibly repeat it, play a little bit, okay so that's how I get space in the rhythm, so like start off with, ah, well that one was just like too straight, didn't get the swing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
So that's how I get the space in there. Okay, so once I've got that space in there, how do we do that? That bit. Okay, so things that I'm utilising is a blue scale, or it depends on if it's got the bend or not, or a minor pentatonic scale, which starting on two draw is... That's minor pen. Blue scale has a bend. So that's what I'm using every time I move up and down the harmonica. I'm playing that minor pentatonic or a blues scale. So what I'm doing here really is I've got my vamp going. I want to move up the harmonica a little bit. So hole two, hole three, half step bend, hole four, blow. Now the fast bit like that. That one. Okay, it starts off as a triangle, like what my teacher Jason Ricky taught me as a triangle. Super cool triangle is hole four draw, hole three half step bend, hole four blow. So if I just want to do that with my little vamp. It's a triplet, triplet feel, so it's... Ba 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 triple it triple it ba 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 triple it triple it. Okay. Now the other super cool thing you can do on that triangulation is you put an extra bend in it. So instead of so four draw, fourth draw, half step bend, three draw. So. So it goes into a sixteenth note, like one yander, two yander, three yander, four yander, rather than triplet, like triplet, 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 triplet. Okay, so let's get back into the rhythm of this. So get our vamp going, a little bit sort of slower. again is just two draw, three draw half step bend, four blow, and then the sixteenth note pattern, four draw, four draw half step bend, three draw, half step bend, yep, four blow, three draw, and that's just to get back down. So if I do it like really slowly, it's like do the next bit. Okay, so I'm utilizing my scale here. And realistically, I'm just going from two draw up to six blow. And I use the little warbles, these things. And repeated notes. Repeated to four draw, five draw, back to four draw. I'm just wobbling those notes basically so I get my, my important notes on the right beat. So if I sort of go slow, and let's just do that part. six blow I can't get my vamp in so here I want to keep the rhythm of the vamp going and then I leave some I can't say space because I need to play okay now the overblow <clears throat> you don't need the overblow I particularly like overblows so what the overblow is is six blow six overblow that. Now you can practice overblows, you can learn to do them, it's not essential, like don't feel like oh, I can't play this if I can't overblow. Um, 
With overblowing, you'd need to know the note that you want to hit. So that wasn't good. Okay, start on six. Focus in my mind what the flat third is. Now that's hard to do. Um, I've got some other little bits of videos on overblows. I've got a method of like how to play them. You can try, this is a stock harmonica, this is why I wanted to use this one. You can try like your six blow, actually bend it down. squeaky sort of noises that means you're getting close to the overblow but you don't need to play the overblow what you can do instead is you think oh that doesn't sort of sound quite as cool hey it's only because you haven't heard it that often L listen to this notes like um, the blind owl like um, Alan Wilson he'd play like a lot of like repeated notes da 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 you know super super cool use your rhythm get it all sort of going there so yeah so we've got our vamp we go up the scale to a triangulation with an extra bend go all the way up the scale to the octave the sixth blow So there's lots of pieces to it, and the most important part really is don't I, I don't play this by knowing inside my head that like oh yeah this is exactly what I'm going to play like no like I've got my rhythm got space. something different I go so there's lots of bits and pieces in there I reckon you can do it especially if you've been like following along my channel for a while but don't get discouraged and go oh no no no, no that's too hard there's lots of things in there that I practiced the vamping I'm old I did that for decades the scales. Do that with my teacher Jason for years. The triangulation. Jason taught me. Super, super cool. Overblows. Again, teacher Jason taught me. So, and then the scale. So it's just putting little bits and pieces together and all of a sudden he gets something that you can just go... Get out there and have some fun.